NASA space junk experts have refined the forecast for the anticipated death plunge of a giant satellite, with the U.S. Space Agency now predicting the six and a half ton climate probe will plummet to Earth around September 23rd, a day earlier than previously reported. That window, NASA now says, has been trimmed to just three days. Reentry is expected September 23rd, plus or minus a day. The reentry of UARS is advancing because of a sharp increase in solar activity since the beginning of this week. NASA officials wrote in a status update today, September 16th. The projection is a day earlier than a previous forecast released by NASA yesterday. Now, if you found that interesting, why don't you take a look at this? NASA spokesman Beth Dickey confirmed with Space.com earlier today that the reason UARS is is expected to fall early in its reentry window is because of a sharp uptick in solar activity. Solar effects from the sun can create an extra drag on satellites in space because they can heat the Earth's atmosphere, causing it to expand. NASA expects at least 26 large pieces of massive satellite to survive the scorching temperature of re-entry and reach Earth's surface. Titanium pieces and onboard tanks could be among the debris, but the UARS satellite carries no toxic propellant. The debris is expected to fall over a swath of Earth about 500 miles long, NASA official said.